Hello Revit Pels, in today's video we see how to create a solid wall on a ramp by replacing the default railing. As we see we have a ramp created and in edit type can see properties dot ok. So now we select the supporting railing and duplicate and provide the name. Then I move to top rail section and choose type. And click the three dots and see top rail type and again prefer to duplicate name. And below, we choose the profile and press Ctrl C, that is copy the name dot so later, we can find that profile family name, by searching. Next in the project browser, let's paste the copied profile name using Ctrl V. Then look for profile name, dot remove unwanted portion of the pasted. Now we can see the profile name dot so right click and edit. Now in the family editor you see the profile dot in the ribbon choose. Family types and give a new family type name and I provide the height. Of top railing profile to be 1100 millimeters in this case. Now soon to see we can see the height changes since it is parametric. 2D profile. So let's load this into project and overwrite it, but still we don't see changes happen to the railing because it is still using old profile but our profile name is different so select the railing and jump into top rail section and choose type and choose the three dots then now choose the profile name which is 1100 by 50 millimeters. We can ignore the warning then apply changes. We can apply the same type on other side of railing. Take a look around and this is what we want to achieve in ramp. And solid wall support as we see in car parks. See you next time guys.